Hi everyone, I hope you're not aching too much from yesterday's workout session. Welcome back to day two of our fitness videos. Don't forget if you have any siblings or your parents want to get involved, they are more than welcome to. Before you start day two's fitness video, please make sure you go and do the warm up video that is also attached in the email that came with this link today. So our first exercise for today's video is going to be jumping jacks. Some of you might call them star jumps, but either way it's exactly the same exercise. So we're going to start with our feet together and our arms down to our side and we're just going to bring our arms out and our legs out at the same time. Right? So, okay, so it's like a little bounce but you're pushing your legs to the side and your arms to the side at the same time. Now obviously you're going to be going a little bit quicker like this and if you prefer you can put your arms above your head like so. Now you can either pause the video, do your one minute of exercising and then come back and see the next exercise or you can continue watching and do all of your exercises at the end. Good luck! Next up we have a cross body punches. Okay, so you're going to have your hands into a fist shape and you're just going to punch from side to side. Just like you would do if you went boxing. Okay, so to start with you can go slowly and then gradually like Go a little bit quicker. When you're punching, make sure you're punching really hard in front of you into the air and not gently. Otherwise, you're not going to be any benefit from doing the exercise. Okay, you can go a little bit quicker if you want to. Good. If this is too hard, you can slow down a little bit. Like so. As long as you're pushing your arms out right in front of you. Just turn to the side. Good. As you're punching as well, make sure you're going across your body, like so. Good job, well done. Okay, off you go. Okay, exercise number three is one of your favourites. I know we done both these yesterday, but today is the plank, the holding plank. Okay, so there's two options on how you hold your plank, and I'm going to show you both, and you can do whichever one you feel more comfortable doing. Okay, so the first one, you can have your hands up to the side, like so, and go on your palms. I don't want to see any blockage up in the air. It must be really straight like this. And you're going to hold it for the whole minute. If you find this too hard, you have the other option of going onto your arms like this and holding it like this instead. But it's entirely up to you how you do it, whatever you feel more comfortable doing. Good luck! Next up we have lunges, okay, so I know you all can do these really, really well, but it's really important we don't put our knees on the floor, okay, so I'm going to show you first, I'm going to go to the side this time so you can see them better, so you're going to put one leg out in front of you, and you're going to bend down and do the other one, but this knee is not allowed to touch the floor, or the mat, whatever you're on, okay, so you're going to go down, and then you're going to switch over, hold it for a few seconds, go back up, and back down to the other one, hold it for a few seconds, go back up, uh, back down to the other one. It's really important that you don't put those knees on the floor because you've got to try and hold it and use your leg muscles to keep you upright. Good, okay? And what I don't want you to do is this when you go really quick. I want to see if you can hold it for a few seconds and then change over. Good. Enjoy! Exercise number five is going to be climbing up the wall. You can either pretend you're Spider-Man or Batman Whoever you want to be, I want to see you moving up a wall, okay? So what we're going to do is like jog on the spot like this, bringing our knees up nice and high, and you're going to move your arms at the same time, pretending you're grabbing onto something and climbing up as fast as you can. Okay, like this. Good. If you find it too hard, then just slow it down gently. But we keep going for the whole minute, or even if you even do longer, you just keep going until you get really, really tired. Good, and turn around again. Make sure you're grabbing with your hands. Excellent. Well done. Good luck. Next up, we have push-ups. Now, there's two ways to do them, but I'm going to show you the easier version, as I know a lot of you prefer doing them at school when we do our PE lessons. If you want to do the harder version, that's completely fine, but I'm going to show you the easier one just to get you going, okay? So what you're going to do is go onto your knees, with your arms out in front of you, a good distance apart, palms on the floor, you're going to cross your legs over and stay on your knees. 
Your aim is to bend your elbows and get your head towards the mat or the floor. I don't want to see anyone bending their bottoms or backs up. This is nice straight move. Bend those elbows and back up. Bend your elbows and back up. Bend your elbows and back up. Elbows, back up. Good. Now you can do the one where we go like this, like the plank, and then go down and up. But this one, I know most of you prefer. Okay? Good luck! Okay, so exercise number seven is going to be moving squat. Yesterday we done a holding squat where you had to hold the same position for a whole minute or as long as you could do for. Today we're going to do a moving squat. So it's the same position. We're going to have our um, legs shoulder width apart and we're going to go down with our arms out in front of us. You're going to hold it for three seconds. One, two, three. Then you're going to go back up and back down. One, two, three. Good. Back up. Back down, one, two, three. Good, okay, when you're bending, make sure you're pushing your bottom out a little bit, but keeping your back in a straight-ish position. And we're not going all the way to the floor where we're leaning on the bottom of our legs, we're going holding it as much as we can here. Good, okay, so you can either pause the video, do your squats for a whole minute, or you can watch, keep, keep watching and watch, uh, do all your exercises at the end. Good luck! Your last exercise for today's video is going to be ankle taps. So for this one, you need to lay on your back and have your feet up, uh, your knees up, pointing towards the sky. Okay, you're going to lay down, have your arms to your side, and you're going to reach and touch your ankle like so. So you're sliding your back from side to side by trying to touch your ankles every time you change direction. Okay, if you do it really close, then obviously it's going to be really easy, so you don't really have to move much. If you put them out a little bit further, then you've got to try and stretch a bit more, like so. Good. You should be feeling it working on your stomach muscles and your sides as well, where you're moving from side to side. Good. Okay, so you've just got to keep going. Excellent. Okay. So you can either do that for a whole minute now, or you can go back to the beginning now and watch all of them and then do them at the end. Well done, guys. Excellent work, guys. You've now seen all the demonstrations for today's fitness video. If you have already done your workouts by pausing the video, then well done. If you haven't, then good luck with it. Don't forget, once you've done your fitness video, it's really important to watch the cool down video to make sure that you can loosen your, uh, cool your muscles down again and get your heartbeat back to its resting rate. Well done, guys.